Hey guys, it's Dana at HuntToTable.com and tonight we're going to be cooking up some pecan dusted catfish. The family and I were traveling on a road trip to Florida through Georgia and um, if you've ever been through Georgia you know that state is full of the most beautiful pecan orchards there are. So we found this roadside stand that was selling some so of course we bought some. And I thought how great would this be to change up our catfish a little bit from the normal fried catfish. Give it a little nutty flavor. So all I'm gonna do is just put this in the blender and grind this up. All right, so we've got this ground to roughly the consistency of, uh, of cornmeal as you can see. That's gonna make for a nice uh, coating for our fish. Pretty simple process here. Starts off with your basic egg milk mix. I'm just going to put a couple eggs in here. And some milk. I'm going to whisk this up together. Simply acts as a good uh, binding agent for our, our batter. So the fillets will simply go through the egg wash. into our flour, lightly dusted, and we'll finish out with the uh, pecan crust. Tonight we're going to be using some blue catfish that our family caught up at Truman Lake. We live here in southern Missouri, and just like you, we like to get out and uh, hunt and fish just as much as we can. It gets the kids involved, and uh, it's just awesome on the table. So I've got some peanut oil going here in my deep fryer and I'm almost up to 350 degrees right now so I'm going to go ahead and start my process uh, just going to dredge them through our egg milk mix just going to lightly dust them with flour here one more time back through the mix and then right into our our pecan dust and that second egg dip really helps this uh, batter stick. You can see I've got it really nice adhering to that. And right into the hot grease we go. Alright, we've had these uh, in here for a few minutes, about four or five minutes now. And we're going to just give this a check. Yeah, we're looking for this uh, nice golden color here. Yeah. I think these are ready to come out. All right, that's about it for tonight. This looks great and I am hungry. If you like this recipe, you can find it and many others at our website, hunttotable.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Feel free to share any of those videos or pictures you're seeing. And share your comments with us too. And then subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can find this and other videos from our hunting and fishing adventures. That's it for now. I'll see you next time.